Hello friends, this video on molecular basis of inheritance part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about transcription unit. Now where exactly in a DNA the process of transcription takes place? As I mentioned before also that it is not that the entire DNA gets replaced with an RNA. It is not like that. It is just a portion of DNA which where one strand of DNA will act as a template and it will generate a portion of RNA. So let us and that unit or, or that part of DNA is known as the transcription unit. So it is basically that portion of DNA which transcribes and give rise to RNA. So the stretch of DNA which gets transcribed to RNA molecule is termed as transcription unit. So the process of transcription takes place only within this portion of the DNA. Now there are three important regions which define a transcription unit. So when you say a transcription unit, so it is being divided into three major important regions. So let us see what are they. Promoter. There is a promoter. So let us suppose if this is the DNA. So we are just trying to show you the, that portion which is called transcription unit. So this is the promoter. Now basically here you can see a green colored structure. It is not some structure. It is just this much portion of the DNA. That is what it is trying to say. So next is the structural gene. So here you can see this portion of the DNA represents the structural gene. And the last one is the terminator. So this much portion of the DNA will act as the terminator. And this portion is the promoter. Now as the name suggests, promoter will denote the beginning of transcription. And then transstructural gene represents all those genes which will get transcribed. So in this portion of the transstructural gene, you will have, you will see that one of the uh, strands of DNA will behave as uh, the template strand, the other one would be the coding strand and finally there is the terminated region where the process of transcription will stop. So this entire unit is known as the transcription unit. So let us try to understand the function and uh, structure of each of the units or each of the regions in the transcription unit. So let us start with promoter. So it is the region of DNA that initiates the transcription of a gene. So this portion. Now before this portion it was not a part of transcription unit. So there, will no, there is no transcription that will happen here. Only after this region transcription starts. So it initiates the process of transcription. So now let us make use of a simpler diagram to explain the different regions of the transcription unit. Now instead of having the uh, double helix structure of DNA, let us assume that these are the two strands of DNA which wrap around each other to form the double helix structure. So this black one is the template strand and the pink one is the coding strand. So let us suppose that the template strand is running from 3' prime to 5' prime direction. And the coding strand is just the opposite that is prime, prime to 3 prime direction. So if you talk about promoter, this is where the promoter lies. So this one is the promoter. So it provides binding site for RNA polymerase. Like how for DNA replication, the leading role was played by an enzyme called DNA polymerase. Similarly, in the process of transcription, the leading role is played by RNA polymerase. So RNA polymerase will bind to the transcription unit at the promoter. So promoter will provide that area where RNA polymerase can bind. Only once RNA polymerase bind, bind it can start the process of transcription. It is located upstream on DNA. So when we say upstream that is towards the upper side. That is like how if you talk about uh, say a, a, a small river. So we say it is flowing up uphill. So from the top of the hill to the bottom of the hill. So if you have uh, some water body. So towards the upper side you call it uphill uh, or upstream where it starts and towards the lower side is the downstream. So similarly here where the entire transcription unit starts that is the upstream and where the transcription unit ends that is towards the terminator side that is the downstream of DNA. 
So promoter is located upstream on DNA. It is located towards the five prime end of structural gene. Now, how will you define which is the five prime end? Because the coding strand has and the template strand, their notations are opposite to each other because they are anti-parallel strand. Now, whenever we denote the uh, which end of the entire transcription unit, we take the coding strand as the basis. So whichever is the 5 prime end of coding strand that is considered as the 5 prime end of the transcription unit. So this is just for convenience because otherwise it will create confusion. So promoter is always located towards the 5 prime end of the coding strand. So wherever 5 prime of coding strand promoter will be that side. So obviously terminator will be on the other side. So its length can be up to 100 to 1000 base pairs. Now this promoter is nothing but a region. It is not some other additional substance. It is just the region on, D on DNA. So here also there will be many base pairs. So the number of base pairs in the promoter region can be up to 100 to 1000 base pairs. So it can extend up to that much of stretch. Next is the structural gene. These are the gene that codes for any RNA or structural protein. So all the genes which are located in between this portion, they are uh, structural genes and they are going to code for RNA. So the base sequence in these genes are going to de de define the base sequence on the RNA strand. And the third one is the terminator. So here you have the terminator. So this is terminator and it this region defines the end of the transcription. So basically when the RNA polymerase comes, it binds to promoter. It passes on through the structural gene. Now while it passes on through the structural gene, it creates a copy of RNA and when it reaches the terminator, it gets a signal that this is the end of transcription. So the process of transcription stops. It is located downstream on the DNA. So this is the upper side. This is the downside. It is located towards three prime end of the structural gene. As I said, five prime end promoter, three prime end is terminator. So please remember that all the location reference is always taken with respect to the coding strand. So please do not get confused regarding that. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.